Enough is enough. It's called Pennywise and Pound. How many years? Pennywise and Pound Foolish. Right? How many years? Oh God! It's, it's ridiculous. No excuse. There's no consistency with this establishment. Oh, you walk in. I said, look at this. I'm sweating. I know. I, said, Come I, on, I, man. I, I felt the humidity as soon as I walked in. I said, oh, here we go again. This is without a doubt evidence. But I want that, you to follow up with Eileen and Ray. Yes, you is that oh, funny? my God. Was that? That was so. She did leave with him. Oh, my God. That she was, did. That I was my amulet. I want you to verify. Okay. Oh, by the way, I have your beer in the car. Okay. This time it's ice cold. Well, I have it in the cooler. It's not going to be when we go out. But no, no, no. I have the I have the frozen blue thing inside. Oh, okay. No, no. It, trust me, it will be frosty. Right, let me show you going to phrase your question. <laughs> About the beer? No. I'm only busting your chops. Because you cut me off last night on the phone. I was asleep. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't remember you called. I'm sorry. Oh, by the way, guess how I had a re I had to contact Aldi Market. What did you call about last night? Shepherd's Pie. <laughs> oh, yeah. call the home market. It's easy. Guess what, I, guess what happened? I had to do it by internet. I couldn't, they, you can't speak to a human being anymore when you have a grievance. Did you get a response yet? Not yet, but I sent a, I sent a whopper of a story. Don't insult my intelligence and tell me shepherd's pie is out of season. Come on. No, no, no. <clears throat> Jimmy, make it simple. Has the Aldi's grocery chain lied to me when they've said shepherd's pie is out of season? Has the Aldi grocery chain lied to me, lied to me when they keep telling me that shepherd's pie is just out of season? It's probably bad corporate management. Stupid. <clears throat> now, what about what about all? Are they lying? Are they lying and pacifying me by telling me that everything is out of season that they normally have? Big yes, big yes, big yes. There you go. But you know what was most annoying is no matter. I try to tell the staff, the employee. For God's sakes, it's it's mashed potatoes, ground beef, vegetables, and spices. Seasonal? No, How could that? I don't think so. What is it? Live, live lobster? You know what she tells me? It's out of season. Like like a robot. She no. kept on saying it's out of season. It's out of season. No, they're lying. They're lying. There's no way that no, ground yes, mashed potatoes. Yesterday being Saturday. You want me to do it? It's a long question. Yeah, yeah, you do it. Yesterday being Saturday. <laughs> My friend or acquaintance, and Jimmy Madonna's, Eileen, the girl here at McDonald's. Did she leave shortly after Ray and hook up with Ray? That's pretty disgusting when you think about it. Think? Well, the both of them are kind of the wacko. Look, look at the big yes. Get them both fucking naked. Oh, are you nuts? Are you kidding me? Uh, <laughs> am I am I accurate when I say that Eileen and Ray are the the best walking advertisements for birth control there is? They left together yesterday. Yes, it says yes. They are the best walking at thirty seconds advertise. He left without saying a word. She didn't even say a word to us. In 30 seconds or less, she jumped up and ran out. The best walking advertisements for birth control. Yes, mysticism says yes. Uh, what out of doubt. But Look. she loves her my guy. Oh, I Remember told... I think she says my guy all I, the time? I told my, my mother's caregiver, Stephanie, about the my guy and Eileen, and she... My mother's caregiver was shaking her head like, you got to be kidding me. She's my known him. For, she's known him for eight years, and she hasn't been to his house. Think about that, Eileen. I mean, uh, Jesus, I'm sorry. Oh, my, sorry to insult you. Like <laughs> eight years, and has never been to his place down south. No, nothing good's gonna happen. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, brother. <laughs> just like, just like getting, having an, an air, a central air conditioning unit that works every day. That's he, not gonna happen he either. He said to her, he'd marry her when he turned sixty. Well, Karen, he's 63 now. <laughs> yeah. I'm sick of these people. I've really, I've lost all patience. I mean, I had, I had the heat's on in here, Karen. This is good. 
Karen, I had I had to give send a grievance to all the Aldi market chain. I couldn't get a I can't get a human being on the phone. I had to send it by e um, message on, on the internet. Everything is like you can't get a person anymore for anything. Is they they're so cheap as about hirings human beings. Our acquaintance here from here at McDonald's, Eileen. <laughs> oh my God. Is she still with the other guy, Ray, today? Why she not here? You know, this should be a law against wackos reproducing. Like, could you imagine Ray and I, Eileen reproducing? They should put a heavy tax on, on weird and ugly people to have babies. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, I mean, to bring more... Listen, Billy, to bring more... This is how the kid... When the, when the doctor slaps the baby, the baby goes like this. No, you know what Eileen would say? Are you sure it's mine? <laughs> After she gives birth to it. <laughs> Are you sure it's mine? Are you sure it's my kid? Boy, it's hot as shit. But, but you know what? I can't it, believe they it, can't In it. reality, this piece, of, this piece of shit franchise oh, owner. It's always not working. That's all they Yesterday use. Yesterday was not. No. Yesterday was not. Yeah, I mean, it's not working. Wouldn't it be great? It Wouldn't it be great? You know, Wouldn't it be great if this franchise owner came in right now? No, you know why? He'd walk out. saying, I don't need this. Because, He'd walk out. You don't want to hear it. He doesn't care. You want to hear it. People are spending their money here. He doesn't care. Companies, have companies become um, just as arrogant as our pr President Donald Trump? Yes. Where'd you go last night? I know. What'd you have? Chicken Parmesan. I'm gonna have it tonight too. Chicken Parmesan. Yeah. Oh yeah, you I went to that pizzeria. Them. I spoke to my sister about she I said, had a salad instead of pasta. You didn't get pasta or salad. My what, did, what did they reopen after the food poisoning? <laughs> yeah. My sister says try tiramisu in um, I think it's on 46 in uh, Elmwood Park. It's excellent. It, it's an excellent Italian restaurant. She's been going there for years. Oh my God! It's really humid in here. I mean, come oh, this on. Is, this is ridiculous. He broke. Yeah, he broke. He broke. There's nothing coming out whatsoever. He broke my ass. He broke. That's where the the, air, the AC is working back there. Why is that? Why does it work in the bathroom from now? I, I don't get this. Yesterday when I was here. You, you're not here at 6 30. I froze my butt off. I said, You don't need the air now. Now it's pouring out. It is ice cold over there. And my, now today, my, my friend that does from my friend from New Orleans, from New Orleans, uh, Jay Tirio, that does uh, the booze shows, the live booze shows, he's like Jack Mullaney. He, he gets up, he goes to bed, like kind of like you and Howard Stern, by 8, 9 o'clock. And he gets up at. Uh, Crack, crack of dawn, basically. I'm up around four o'clock. Yeah, that There's Jack Lane used to do that, and, and um, I'm over at the Holiday Inn. Yeah, he used to do that. Get up I'm at the Holiday Inn every morning, getting my paper at 20, 20 to six. Like the chickens, get up with the sun and go to bed with the sun. I bring my chickens. Why is this woman taking a photo of the 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 sign of McDonald's? This one, this one heat stroke. Must be heat stroke, man. Because I mean, if that, if I that's you had Eileen's phone number, said hi. I, I wish I'd have never met her. Put Ray on, please. I don't know, that'd be funny. Oh my God, he's a whack job. I wish I knew where she's there. He's a whack. I said, let's take a ride, man. You know, it'd be great if we had a loudspeaker and no, we opened the window. Now hear this. <laughs> what do you think about football for the season? He said it hasn't started yet. Oh, Ray, said, Ray asked you this? Yeah. I said, "What are you talking? It hasn't started." He, 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 we're trying to, we're trying to ask the pendulum questions, right? He comes in and he goes, he, but his he big mouth. About, remember the guy that talks real loud when he's got the big gut, Ray? Trying to talk like a big cowboy, but he's not a cowboy. No, no you know what he when he starts yelling? Are you guys having a powwow over there? Yes, we well, are. I'm trying to ask. 
Yeah, like the disco song. We we'll have a pow, wow, wow. Smoke the peace pipe. Remember that song? Oh yeah. Smoke yeah, the peace yeah, pipe. Hey, yeah, yeah. You know who we mean, right? I gotta find that song. Isn't he a pain in the ass? He just goes <laughs> on and on. I'm like, please. Uh, about oh my goodness. I'm like, stop this. About nothing. About stupid things. But he he's annoying. Oh, yeah. Listen, when I when it's I was in normal, it's not a normal conversation. When I was in grammar school, we had this genius high IQ geek, geek named Eugene Hoyas. That was me. I changed my name. Years you don't look like a Eugene. I felt no. like one back then. No, but this kid used to like insult. He used to insult the football jocks, and and even in high school, and they used to turn them. They used to pick them up by the ankles and throw them in a the dumpster, because he used to call them dummy, idiot. I have the highest IQ in, in, in this whole school. Uh, maybe you did. You don't make fun of that. But you don't put down. But you don't put down everybody to make yourself look wonderful. No. I didn't feel sorry for the, for him getting thrown in the dumpster by the football jocks. They got they got sick of hearing his mouth. It's like revenge of the nerds. That was good. I remember Revenge of the Nerds too. Did you see it, Karen? No. No, I, I don't well, like people that sound like Horshack. The pretty, pretty boy frat tried to trick the nerds to give them this beautiful, gorgeous suite in this hotel, this resort complex. So the nerds were up there with the pretty boys. And uh, Robert Carradine goes, This is perfect, isn't it? <laughs> this is just perfect. Isn't this perfect, Booger? The Booger. And Booger said, Well, it's not perfect. They said, well, what's wrong? He said, it would be perfect if I had a boner. <laughs> so, sounds like Porky's. Oh, good. Hey, did, really you, good. did you see the great CNN special about the 1970s? Wasn't well, that great? Well, I've seen them all. They're all good. I now, the now, they're doing the two now they're going to do the 2000s. No, last night was the 90s. It was great. Oh, yeah. No, the 70s? Oh, that brought back memories. You should. They oh, went through Motown, yeah. everything. They went right up to the end. <clears throat> That's all good stuff. The, uh, classic rock, heavy metal rock. Uh, these people today, the kids today, don't know what they missed. They don't know what they missed. The TV shows, Bob Newhart, Mary, Mary Tyler oh, Moore. Oh, Hill Street Blues in the 80s. Shortly after... Uh, uh, St. Elsewhere. I mean, my God, people today, you have nothing. You have nothing. Look at the writers. I mean, the writers must be like oh. freaking hor horrible compared to, I don't know, they had great writers. I don't call them sitcoms today. I call them shit coms. They're just awful. Now, you know, some douchebag, yeah. some douchebag told me the laugh track is a good invention. I said, what are you, for real? Are you serious? Yeah. <clears throat> yes and no, it's overused. Some points maybe a little bit, but boy, they when they do it for every time somebody farts, you hear a, ah. yeah. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, could you imagine hiring? You know that'll be the perfect career for Eileen, a stand-up comic, hiring her to sit in the front row. Ah, ah. <laughs> you know what? I told her honestly too. I said, Eileen, you've got severe mental issues. You've got problems. You gotta get something, some help. You need help. Yeah, help is like jumping into Mount Kilauea volcano. That'll be help for her. She's a uh, well. She runs off with Ray. That's disgusting. Oh, come on. That's come worse on. than her talking. Just the thought of them together is worse than her here. And it's funny how neither one would say goodbye. He jumps up, runs out. Not even 30 seconds. She jumps up. I said, Oh, oh that's a catch, she's, man. She's leaving. Oh, oh said, look at this. She was, she got, that was desperation. Not to I say run, I should have run right outside. So, where, oh, whoa, where are you going? What are you doing? Come back here. You're not going with Ray, are you? Come back here, Eileen. I mean, just think about that. To run off without saying goodbye because you, you picked up a really winner of a dude, man. But I love my guy. Oh, yeah. You know what? We have her number a long time ago. And the amulet has her number, too. Number two, yeah, hey, that, that's exactly what they are. Number here. two. Next time she's here, we'll just go along with what I say. I said, I said Jimmy, check that out. He tracked down Jerry Gullah's phone number. 
She's going to call Jerry about this. And let's bust on her about her leaving with that freak. Yeah, I'm going to say, how, how was everything with, uh, with Ray? Uh, the yeah, retard. Man. Ray the retard. Hey, cool. RR. Cool. RR. Cool. RR. Ray the retard. Mm -hmm. What do you think about the football? It's not here yet. <laughs> so what are you talking about? Beep, 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 beep. What's wrong with everybody? They can't make sense. The football hasn't started, Ray. He did this a couple times in other years. What do you, I said, I don't. I said, Ray, I gotta be honest. I don't have a clue what you're talking about. You're all over the board. You're bouncing off walls. Amulet, is it true that strange, freaky, freaky, or very stupid people, or even very ugly people, should not be allowed to have babies? Uh, 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 uh. Should they be taxed heavily if they happen to get pregnant? I would. I tax the hell out of them for bringing your ugly bastard into this world. You son of a mother. Yavol! Achtung! I think you should be taxed. Me? Are you kidding me? I'm the guiding light for the 21st century. The dimension. Oh hey, yeah, uh, hey, smoke the yeah, peace, buddy. Yeah, hey, yeah, uh, yeah. How you doing? You want to help me out dementia, here? Dementia, dementia. Are you kidding me? Hey, uh, at least, well, if you wanted to, you could get a, a foldable camping car and not sleep on the friggin'. Well, how'd you get off on that now? Because it, it bugs me that you got the money to buy one and you don't yeah. get one. Yeah, but your knees. I'm thinking about your knees, man. It's not for my knees. My knees is not. When you get off the floor, you must have a special technique for getting up. Just get up. Well, I guess you... But when do your knees hurt? Just general walking? Oh, yeah, ever, always. I can't go up or down stairs unless I go sideways. Uh, but getting up to go to the bathroom is not no, no problem. The same as I do every time. Okay. I go to the bathroom. Yeah. So what did the doctor say? Your, your treatments are officially... For now. Which treatments? In the immuno. Oh, no, I started immuno. I quit chemo. I I thought you said you, you, you completed something the no, other day. I quit chemo. I gave up. I said I can't. Oh, you were anymore. you were doing the end of chemo. No, I told them I just can't take it. I'm I'm not doing it anymore. Oh. So they put me on immuno therapy. Because I know you had a I know you had an appointment yeah, I, recently. I had one thir uh, Thursday I had one. And that's an appointment to... Uh, I had an, an infusion of, oh. of the immunotherapy. So we'll see how it works. So you, so you did start it? It's my second one. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, no, yeah. I, thought, I thought you said before you haven't no, begun I yet. Said I can't do oh, that's, that's brutal, man. That No, seriously. That's worse than the... Often worse oh. than the cancer. Really? And everybody said you didn't lose hardly any. They said you didn't lose any hair that we can see. I said no, not much. Well, you, you didn't get scrawny. You, well, you lost a little weight. I lost quite a bit of weight. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what you did. It's more of a sex with Eileen. That you know that's the right the right move you made is to get off that damn oh, chemo. Everybody said get off the chemo and destroy you. Now what about the drugs that were making you feel exhausted? Most of all, those are. Uh, Basics? Well, you have to. I, I've, I've got to keep my bladder at the uh, blood pressure. Right. Cholesterol. Right. Omeprazole is for are you gas, gastric Are you on like a statin, like Lipitor? Yes, a Torvastatin once a night, once a evening. Okay. A Torvastatin. Yeah, I started taking garlic, the one that Larry King used to advertise for the LDL. Oh, and hypertension, yeah, I'm, I'm not, high, I'm like, eh, they said I was sort of borderline. What? Hyper, borderline what? Uh, hypertension, but I have, they said I had high LDL. So many, yeah. But Lipitor has so many horrible negative side effects that I went, I went on garlic and my blood pressure is not bad now. It's, it's, it's within range. It's normal. Yeah. Larry King, it's a green box. Larry King used to advertise it. He used to say, garlic is magnifique. Of course, Billy would sound much better doing that commercial than Larry yeah, King. Nobody wears suspenders like Larry King. Oh, flood! What about when he pulls his pants all the way up? That's when I get excited. Oh, me when you 
with the suspenders. He pulls his face. Why do we even make him get with Ray? Oh, gee. Good thing I'm not eating. Look at this, Jimmy. Look, look, Jimmy. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a, that's a, that's a, you know, I hope. I wish we knew where they live. I hope they don't, they don't have a baby that becomes like them. I really, I really hope not. Well, Ray's married. Yeah, I know. So, so she's, so Eileen's the other woman? She's, 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 she's the mistress? Oh, well, well, well. She's the other. I love my woman. No, not woman. I take that back. I take that back. She's, she's the other. Yeah, like cousin it. Like I said earlier to you too, can you picture those two naked? Oh my God! You know, sometimes people post uh, elderly couples cartoons, though. Of course, you know, naked in a bedroom. Wow, that's pretty. I mean, I, that's probably how they look without their clothes. You know? <laughs> like, you ever see uh, oil cured olives? You know, they're all like shriveled, wrinkled. Yeah. That's basically how well, that's they... probably what they both look like, an oil-cured olive with their naked. That's probably what kind of brains that can you, can they you have, imagine that? Ray, Ray and Eileen. Think about that. Oh, are you crazy? Those two naked? Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm trying to think of what's worse. Oh. No central air or the thought of them dating. I can't make up my mind what's worse. I am, but next time she's here, I'm going to say... So you and Ray, huh? Oh, you follow well, we you need know, a new. Don't go, oh, don't no, 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 no. We need new material. I say, what? So, uh, because I can't do swamp ass for up. ran after his ass not even 30 seconds when he got out of here. Oh, and neither one of you could say goodbye, but you always have in the past. And listen, oh, and I bet Ray has swamp ass. Oh, listen. oh Jesus. Yeah, I think the both of them have swamp ass. Oh, yeah. Well, the flies probably joined in. Oh. <laughs> Oh gosh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna really bust them the next time they're both here at the same. No, forget it. Even when Eileen's here without Ray, we're gonna bust on her. Oh, we're gonna have we're gonna have fun. Talk about maniacal madness. That's gonna be a blast. Eileen and I, not to upset you, but Jimmy tracked down your uh, your guy's phone number. Your so-called Jerry Gulla. Gala? Yeah, it was that short for gulla, gullible? Remember that? You said sea gulla. That's sea gulla. That's I remember. Sea Gu Jerry gulla. And she's gullible. But I'm going to tell her that. Jim, Jimmy tracked out on the computer and got his phone number. Yeah, you start it. You get the ball so rolling. Just go with me. Don't and I go with you. Don't. No, I didn't. Don't just disagree. No, don't no, no. Go with it. No, no. We'll go. I'll go with you. Yeah, so. Because we need to rile her up. Oh. And then we'll. And then eventually we'll follow up with the amulet questions and she'll and, and we'll watch her have a meltdown oh she gets nervous with the annual she said she had she self-destructs now look at that doc shine that that doc shine's overweight doc shine docs docs wound that means badger hound doc no, docs short, dog with short legs anthony far, weeder far that, lo that looks like carlos like danger right <laughs> and no people make the mistake of giving their dogs table food you <coughs> Carbohydrates, big mistake. No, give give your pets nothing but table, <coughs> nothing but. Give them scraps. That's how they get fat. No, kills them. See, a carnivorous creature has a short di digestive tract. Well, hey, we're carnivorous creatures. I like to eat carnivorous Ve rivers. Vegans? Oh, I enjoy a good ribeye steak. What are you kidding me? Oh, I want a burger. Or, I, oh, Remember, we have the meat. Arby's. Oh, I wish we had an Arby's around here. We got the um, um, brisket, a smoked brisket, they te have, Texas they have style. Everything. That's if it's real brisket. You want to see them? Oh, Jimmy, stop with the what, what if it's steak? What if it's steakums? That's great. Steakums are good. That crap is processed food. Oh, I don't care. The other day he he bitched about. Velveeta. Cheese whiz and, and cheese it's I just bought them both earlier the, the, oh, the no, day before. No. Billy, tell me it's not I, so. No, I love that stuff. It's shop rice, right, but, but that's the, process. Yeah, I, love that, I don't care. I love that stuff. Why can't you get Munster or Provolone or Swiss? I eat the good and the bad. I like it all. The good, bad, and the ugly, right? <laughs> Mr. Pris, Mr. Pris here with his... It's no, listen, I eat... No, no, no. I no, eat no, you tell real her, food. You tell her about the seafood salad thing. 
Years ago, I went to buy the seafood salad. Stop it, Sean. It's Pollock. Please stop it. You know that's not real lobster. I said, I don't care. It tastes good. I eat the chicken. Well, that, there I have to agree with you. It does taste good. It's, just, it's not real lobster. I said, I don't care. No, I read it's the ingredients. Pollock. I like Pollock. Listen, it's good. Listen, Billy, I, I read the ingredients. I I give it my stamp of approval. Oh, I don't care. It tastes good, and I don't. I buy. I want certified organic. I want. Well, you do. I don't. I want what I, tastes good. I want, I want my the, cheese whiz. I want my Volvita, and that's it. I want the junk. But don't you I like garbage? We've got the meats. I like the junk. Don't you like? Yeah, Barn. Don't you care about uh, extending? Not only your lifespan, but the quality of your lifespan. No, I want to tell you something that's good. <laughs> that's all I want. <laughs> it's quality of life. Quality Don't of your lifespan. Whiz. I like cheese whiz. I like I like Velveeta. And Listen, that's I, it. I had a huge Mr. falling Mr. out with somebody on on the internet over Velveeta and cheese whiz. Oh, stop. Eat the stuff. Mr. Friss here. I would never eat this stuff. Well, you're right, oh, I would not. Yeah, but I, I do all the time, and I don't care. You know what kind of one-third pound hamburgers I got? Grass-fed, certified organic beef burgers. You know, you I, like? I, I don't, I don't know what else to say except, ooh, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot better than what Ray would say. I don't care. I like it. It's good. Eat it. Just listen. Eat no it. matter what I say, Billy's going to eat whatever he wants That's anyway. It, yeah. <laughs> Hey, what are you excuse looking me, at? Excuse the me. Doc Show is staring at me. Excuse me. Throw a big slab of Velveeta on that burger too, okay? Thank you. Man. The Doc Show. Hi. It's probably retarded though. No, he's getting an education. Oh yeah, by looking at you. No, by listening to me. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Let's see him respond. Go ahead. Ask him a question. No, actually, honestly, Doc, D A C H oh. is is German for badger. No, it's not. They were they were made they were bred to hunt badgers. Oh, that's a lie. It used to be doctor. They changed it. Did you notice Carlos Danger, Anthony Weiner looks like a Doc Shound? Mm -hmm. They are cute though. How, the whole Hound Dog family. Great. All animals are great. Karen, I'm an animal. I mean, I mean, Elvis Presley wrote a song about a Hound Dog. Uh, you ain't nothing. <laughs> you ain't uh, nothing no, but a Hound Dog. That's not it. What was the other one? Crying all the time. No. Viva Las Vegas. Uh, Kentucky Rain. Oh. I also. Oh, Oh, that's a great. That's a, I never even knew that. That when I first heard it, I didn't even know it was him. No, that's one of his best songs. What's that song? I fall, uh, fall in a trap. I can't get out. Suspicious eyes. That was yeah. it. We can't go on together. With suspicious eyes. Suspicious eyes. There's always the girls in the background. Huh? Suspicious eyes. I love you, Frankie. No, I'm you. He must have been awfully hot in that jumpsuit in Vegas with that heat. Oh, that's what he sweat, my yeah. He's sweating. Oh. My friend was with him for five hours. Really? Mm -hmm. On his private plane. But he'll treat you like gold if you're a good, good person. He said, Billy, what a down-to-earth nice. He said, to this day, before, obviously before he passed, he could not accept, because I, I can't understand why I'm having all this success. You know, Colonel Parker overworked him. Parker was a jerk guy. Yes. He's got a bad... Like record. Michael Jackson's father. Oh, yeah. oh he yeah. just died recently. Joe. Joe Jackson. Yeah. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Warmth Eyes. But, but, but Colonel Parker, that greedy bastard, oh, he pushed Elvis with his schedule. He had no, he didn't care. I don't think he really cared about it. His about name, Elvis. I forget, it was in the paper last week. His name was no clear, nothing close to Colonel Tom Parker. Colonel. It was like Hans Zimmerman or something like that. So hey, that was his station. Oh, yeah. He's a fake. Wore the cowboy hat and the whole bit. That was that was like a, a shtick. But that's also Elvis is hanging around behind him. She said, "This guy's a fuck." You know me. I would have been right on his ass. This guy's an ass. I, he took advantage. You gotta get away from him. He took advantage of a, of a very nice but man, decent man. But nobody told him, did they? Yeah, right. Uh, that's it. I know nobody. Hi, hello. Uh, What's up? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now that was a very good point you made. Why didn't 
people who cared about El Elvis and these other yeah. very nice stars, would entertainers. You, would you have kept your mouth shut? I couldn't to see him be abused and, and, and you know, I overbooked. Say, I said, hey, hey, you fire me if you want. This is a scumbag. You've got to get away from this asshole. He was, He's not helping you. He's out to help himself at your expense. Like, like the way Don King tre treated the boxers. Until um, Larry Holmes was the first to like officially take him to court, right? Larry Holmes, I think. I don't know, but anyway, in other words, they they, they exploit people for money. That's it. But nobody speaks up. But why didn't somebody take Elvis aside? Open your fucking mouth. He destroyed his life. Yeah, we're gonna fire me. Wow. And I think I think Joe Jackson contributed to the de to the downfall of Michael Jackson. But the Beach Boys father. Oh, he was another one? He was a scumbag. Now, the Jackie Coogan... Oh. When did the Jackie Coogan... Oh, law that's a 30s. That's way, way back. Now, were, were the child stars the child money? Jackie Coogan Wall. Went into a trust fund. parents took all the money. Yeah. yeah. And that, now that has to go into trust fund. Until you're 18, you know. I don't worry. I mean, by law, if you're a child star. Holy shit. There's a lot of scumbags here. And nobody opens your, open your fucking mouth. You've always heard me tell you that. Open your mouth. Say something. I mean, look at poor Erin Moran of Happy Days. She Moran. was molested. Erin Moran, she was molested. Well, nobody believes her All either. That's bullshit. That's your legal system too, Jimmy. So that's crap too. Scott Bay was a fucking ass. She, di she died She died young. She died young. Overdose, I think, or no, something. No, no, she had cancer or something. Oh, my poor kid. Oh, she didn't deserve this shit. Oh, he he's he's a he's a, he's a class scum, he's a, a number scumbag. one scumbag. He's a scumbag. Scott Bayo? Oh, without a doubt. I think he's a rapist. I'm not sure. I can't prove it. Oh, no, but he but he talk, he talks a lot of shit the on. The girl from Charles in charge and charge and this and that. I mean, on Twitter, he talks a lot of shit. A lot of shit. He's a jerk. Guy. You know who you know who posts a lot of great articles? Ralph Nader is still around. And you know articles about you know the one guy that they used to be around helping you people. Hear a word like, you know, he had he was in the, in the one of my favorite movies, The Outsiders. The Karate Kid, Ralph Macchio. Where where he is? I saw. You know he has the same face. He looks he the same. Age. He doesn't age. He doesn't age. He, he's he was actually older as the Karate Kid than people thought he was. Yeah. He was in his thirties, I think, when he was the Karate Kid. Hey, but where is he today? He doesn't get that many parts. Isn't it amazing you're a star, but after the movie you're not? That's why it's important to learn how to invest your money. Yeah. Same thing with athletes. More important with athletes. I mean, I mean, for God's sakes, I mean, you never know what's going to... An, an accident will take you out. Your career will be over. So all these people that were supposed to be the next great star have one hit movie, you never hear again. From and you them. never hear from them. Hey, look at uh, Britney Spears. She's oh, at. She's huge. No, but I mean, nowadays, you don't really. You know, she's huge. She had that long, couple of year running show in Vegas every night. Oh, really? Yes. Huge, which I, I don't understand. Speak, speaking of long running show, I can never, I can never understand um, <clears throat> Wayne Newton. God, 50, 60 years. He, he was there like forever in you Vegas. See him? No, that's a surgery. Oh, he looks horrible. Dunker Shane, how many times are you gonna sing Dunker Shane? He's probably done it I'm, ten, twenty thousand times. All the old timers, like all the Lawrence so Welk, sucks. with the bubbles. Remember the bubbles, Lawrence Welk show. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Now the lovely, <laughs> the lovely London sisters. Listen, when I was a kid, the, <laughs> listen. <laughs> The, 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 the poker. He was big on poker, right? And you no. know, had the guy with the, the accordion would come out. Oh, the concertina. Da, 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 roll out the barrel. Oh, We're gonna have. Oh, I don't want her. You can have her. She's too fat for me. Remember that poker no, song? No. Yeah. No. Oh, remember Mitch Miller? Sing along with Mitch. Oh. He had the. He looked like Satan. He had yeah. the goatee. Yeah. When I was a kid, you know. At the American Patriotic Show, sing along with Johnny. Oh God, that I don't remember. I don't remember that. He probably took it off of Mitch. Oh, some of the stuff. We but the Lawrence Welk, it's it's got to be comedy today for somebody to watch it now. But I'll bet that's one of the best shows I think you could ever watch if you're stuck.
You know where you got. You know, you know when you got to be stoned out of your mind is um, 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 what's his name again? That that discovered the Osmonds. Um, um, and to Andy Williams. And oh, when he, Andy and he, he bring great. when he, he brought great. the Osmonds on, yeah, he, was good. he discovered it, and that's when Marie had buck teeth and everything. <laughs> you know what's great? I saw a thing for him yesterday. Now she does Nutrisystem. And I think one of the greatest singers in history, and nobody will disagree, Johnny Mathis. You know what? He, he had... I like Nat King Cole. Yeah, he didn't last very long. And his his daughter died. I heard. Natalie Cole. Isn't that, Natalie Cole. She she had she had she had a hit in in the seventies during disco. And she sang with her dad when they brought back the archives and with computers had them singing. Unforgettable. That's what you That's are. That's what you are. Yeah. Unforgettable. Yeah, they were they were very very good. So. Yeah, um, I remember Jerry Vale. With all the, I remember. Uh, they were like they were like lounge crooner type yeah. singers. Yeah, like um, well, Bing Crosby was one of the original oh, crooners. He was big. He was big, and he was an asshole. But I heard he was a real asshole. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. But you know what? You could be mega talented and still be a real jerk off in real life. Was a horrible father was uh, Henry Fonda. Really? Maybe that's why Jane Fonda rebelled so much. Yeah, Henry Fonda, Bing Crosby, well, um, the bad mother. Well, Joan Crawford. Joan Crawford, that was it. Mommy yeah. Dearest. She was a big Try that. Wheels. Wire hangers, I buy you beautiful she clothes. She had a child just to, so it looked good. <coughs> Rock Hudson got married so it looked good. He was gay. You know? He was gay, but he, he would never think it. He was, uh, yeah, well, what do they call they that, a bear? That's why they had him get married. You wouldn't think it. Merv Griffin, only when he went, ooh, on a show, ooh, that's the only time he sounded gay. Merv, Other, otherwise, well, There's yeah. nothing wrong with being gay. But no, I don't care. Back then, it was a different year. You of, had to be, uh, keep it quiet. Of course. Liberace, Richard Simmons, and uh, a ripped, ripped Richard tailor. Richard Simmons is gay? No. Oh, yeah, when on, he wears man. a ballerina dress. Yeah. He always wears this pink and white striped. Oh, hot pants. He's funny looking though. He still was an afro. His afro is like, who's the guy who sang during disco that Sayers, uh, um, get, get, what the hell was his name? He had uh, uh, one or two hits and that was it. He had he had this big afro. Th those were the days when we all did back then. Those were the days when white guys actually got a perm with the bell bottom polyester uh, uh, slacks. I mean, that was hilarious. That was hilarious. But certain, certain people are, they last forever, like Barbara Streisand. Yeah, she, she never got a nose job. Carly she, Simon. Never, uh, yeah, she was great. Uh, um, Carol Gray King. Gray Slick. Gray Slick. Well, not Jeff. as big as them, because they last in 40, 50. Uh, Linda Rodstadt. She can't sing anymore. Lost her vocal. Something's wrong with her vocal cords. Oh, wow. Karen Carpet, a very sad oh, story. Very what a, sad. What a phenomenal. Very course. sad, sad story. My parents knew that because they went with my parents down to Acapulco with IBM in the Cronkites. And mom and dad got to meet them and hang out with mom. I will never forget mom and dad said they were the nicest two kids they ever met. They said just phenomenal. And what a, a voice. What a voice. What a voice you had. My God. Never replicate. Never replicate. No. It's like, you know, we're country western. Conway Twitty was Conway Twitty. Well, Johnny Cash, you can't jo George Strait. Well, Johnny Cash was incredible. Yeah. Um, yeah, George Strait. And, uh, uh, <clears throat> but, but, yeah, Conway Twitty, hello, darling. Remember that song? Da -da. Well, the set you, you've one. got want, want to in, your, who's still in your eyes, something like that. The one who's still going on 50 years or so now, Willie Nelson. Well, he's like how many years? Well, he's like the Rolling Stones. He just keeps on going on and on. Willie Nelson, boy. Oh, Roy Orbison, one of a kind. I, yeah. Yeah. Roy Orbison. 
But he wasn't country or rock. He was like... Only the lonely do, do, do. Pretty woman. Uh, all of them. He banged out a lot of hits. A lot of rock groups, especially Van Halen, did his stuff. Rock style. Really? You know, groups with longevity, you know, ACDC, ACDC still have yeah. longevity? Yeah, yeah, 40 years. Led before. Zeppelin? Led Zeppelin, Beach Boys. Oh, they were on the 70s show. Stone, See, Stones. The, the, the Led, they call them the Led Zeppelin, I think, when they first... Stones. Uh, yeah, really big shoe. You sound like a Brian, what's his face? That's I guess. Okay. Guy with no neck. Oh, Brian Slate. No, I was trying to say it's a shame that the biggest show was to do the Ed Sullivan show, but even though he was a jerk, he was there. Words people said, you know, after they said it, what, what he did was Sly Stone. So, do you want to explain that to me where that makes sense? I said, that's insanity. Did they do everyday people, Sly and Family Stone? Okay. Three Dog Night is a uh, joy. Did they do Joy to the World? Yeah. Jeremiah was a bullfrog. Yeah. Was a good friend of mine. Yeah. Um, Steppenwolf, Born yeah. to Be Wild, uh, uh, Magic Carpet Ride, Steppenwolf, uh, Blondie. She's from right over here in Hawthorne. Um, the Sugar Hill Gang was the, the first one to do, I think, a rap. Well, they weren't that big, Sugar Hill. Gang. No, come but, on, come but, on, they, they can't be included in what we're talking No, 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 but they, they just came. They, they started with the first so-called rap. Who is rap. big is right here from Hackensack. Cool in the gang. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Who's from Tenafly or T-Neck is uh, the Geisley Brothers. Now the Tramps. Are they the ones that sang Burn Baby Burn Disco Inferno? I think there was the Tramps. Because you had, you had so many of the Tramps. Um, Tavares. Tavares, who would agree. Oh, Heaven must have been an angel. Yeah. The other one I liked was all about all the, the different cop shows. Who done it? Who stole my baby? Who done it? Remember that? You know, everyone I, in the book looks yeah. crazy. But I, 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 I like Earth, Wind, and Fire. Oh well, oh, there you go. And, Fifty years. And, Fifty years, Jimmy. Come and on, you notice Casey and the Sunshine Band yeah. had the horns too. Yeah. Yeah, he had horns in his group too. Yeah, they're still playing. <laughs> Ch um, Get my boogie shoes. Do, do, nah, da, the one that the biggest hit was the one I loved. Uh, was their first hit? Booty? No. Their first hit, the biggest one, was the best. Jesus Christ. Talking about Casey? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Their first hit, their big was their biggest. And then the other one from Australia, I think it was, they had a number of number ones. The average white band was very good. Oh, I never heard of them. Sure you did. You know them. You know them. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.